Outer Bank star Chase Stokes is the latest celeb to have their old offensive tweets resurface, so he's speaking out on the matter but oddly enough deleted his words soon after publishing to social media. What's up you guys, it's Susan Morad here with Clever News and it seems like at the moment it's another day, another celebrity apologizing for something offensive they said on social media 10 years ago. And I think all celebs might be in need of a friendly reminder that once you post something, even if it was 10 years ago, it lives on the internet forever. This time Chase Stokes, who stars as John B in the Netflix drama Outer Banks, is under fire for some past offensive remarks. Marks. His show has become a huge hit on Netflix, even reaching the number one spot on the US top 10. So obviously the actors of the show, like Chase, have all shot to massive fame online. On Instagram alone, he has over 2.6 million followers. And since his rise to fame, fans discovered old Facebook posts and tweets from 2007 to 2013 that have since been deleted where Chase uses a number of racist and derogatory words. I won't be repeating everything he said, but the posts include racial slurs and derogatory terms towards people with disabilities and people who are part of the LGBTQ community. And one of his tweets even referenced Justin Bieber. In light of his old social media posts resurfacing, Chase finally broke his silence and wrote an apology to those he hurt. But the post has since been deleted. He said, quote, Yes, I will address this. I was not hiding. I consulted in one of my closest friends just as anybody else would. I have posted insensitive tweets. My Facebook has been hacked countless times. The picture isn't even of me or anybody I know. Chase went on to say, quote, Again, I am incredibly sorry. I really am. I hope you guys see what I'm currently doing and how I'm continuing to do the right thing by being respectful in today's climate. This does not excuse my words, nor am I excusing myself. I will continue to work towards using my platform in the same capacity I have been and doing bringing light into the world. But Chase's apology wasn't up on his page very long. Shortly after releasing this statement, he claimed he got hacked again, on Twitter this time. So not only was his statement erased from his page, but he also had no other previous tweets. And Chase tweeted after the alleged hacking, writing, quote, Yo, just getting back into Twitter. My password was changed, figuring things out. I'm really sorry that this is all happening at once. And he followed up with, somebody obviously got access to my account, so I'm trying to solve this. And fans are having mixed feelings about both Chase's apology and the coincidence that his account was apparently hacked as this scandal was unfolding. This person shared this video writing, quote, Chase Stokes publicist currently deleting every social media post he's ever made to make it look like he's hacked. Another person chimed in adding quote, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from Chase Stokes and I never even stand him. And this person tweeted their disappointment writing quote, Chase Stokes deactivating after his half-hearted apology with a thinking bubble emoji. But other fans came to Chase's defense, saying that the posts were from a long time ago and he should be forgiven like this fan who wrote, Cancelled culture pisses me off. Chase Stokes has grown as a human and those posts were almost 10 years ago. I've learned a lot in 10 years. I don't know about you, let the man apologize and let him move on. Your old Facebook statuses and tweets don't define you. Another fan agreed with this sentiment saying, quote, Listen, I get what Chase Stokes was wrong, but he knows that and he said sorry multiple times. So don't go around trying to ruin someone's career just because you're jealous of their success. It was 10 years ago, so don't act like you've never said something you regret before. And Chase's Outer Banks co-star Jonathan Davis wrote, quote, Hey, I've been seeing a lot of hate coming Chase Stokes way for Facebook posts and tweets that happened over 10 years ago, many of which were done by hackers. I know if you're a fan of ours, we preach to move with love and understanding first instead of hate. But the Twitter war over this drama didn't stop there. People clapped back at the fans that were defending Chase writing things like, he said slurs and 10 years ago, he was still old enough to know it was wrong. And are you black, LGBT or disabled? If not, you can't accept his apology. It's not your place to accept someone's apology if what they said did not personally affect you. And others weren't buying the fact Chase was even hacked again. Some fans think he was lying about that to try to cover his tracks. But it's hard to tell now that his whole Twitter account has been deleted and only has the two tweets from yesterday. Chase has not reposted his apology, but will keep you posted if this story continues to unfold. But I wanna know what you guys think about all of this. Do you think Chase's apology was enough or were you disappointed in the way things were handled? Get the conversation started right here in the comment section below. And for more news on Netflix hits, click right over here for all the tea on Too Hot To Handle. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye guys.